What's up people and welcome to Quick Maths. In this video I'll be going through how to multiply and divide algebraic expressions. And to do this I'll be going through a series of worked examples. Okay, let's start with 3x times 10y. And when we're multiplying algebraic expressions together, we don't need to identify like terms like when we did when we added and subtracted algebraic expressions together. Okay, to solve 3x times 10y, let's start with the coefficient. 3 times 10, which equals 30. And then x times y is xy. So our answer here is 30xy. Next example, 8x all in brackets squared. And when something is squared, we're multiplying it by itself. So here we get 8x times 8x, which equals, so coefficients first, 8 times 8, which is 64, and then x times x, which is x squared. Why? Because when we're multiplying the same variable together, we add the powers. And remember, 8x is the same as 8x to the power of 1. So we can then imagine there's a 1 here. So we've got 1 plus 1, which is 2, and that is where the squared is from. Okay, next example. 6xy times 4z. So here, coefficients first, 6 times 4, which is 24, and then xy times z, which is xyz. Okay, next example. 8xy times 4z minus 7 plus xyz. Okay, let's start working through this. Let's focus on the multiplication first. So 8 times 4, which is 32, and then xy times z, which is xyz. Now let's add minus 7 plus xyz. Now we don't have any multiplication. We just have a subtraction and an addition. So we need to find our like terms. So 32xyz is a like term with xyz. So here we can write, since it's addition, we need to add it on. 33xyz, and we left this constant here, so we say minus 7, and there we have it. 33xyz minus 7 is our answer. Now let's look at minus z times minus 6 times x. So here we have a minus and a minus, so that becomes a positive. So we have positive 6 and then z, and we multiply the x, so we have positive 6zx. Let's look at the example minus 6 pi x times minus 4 xy squared. So the first thing we want to do is the coefficients. So minus 6 pi times minus 4, which is 24 pi. And remember, pi is just a constant. Now, let's go x times x, which is x squared, and then we have this y squared over here, so when we multiply it by this guy here, we're left with just the y squared. So our answer is 24 pi x squared y squared. Next example, 27x divided by 9. So 27 divided by 9 is 3, so we're left with just 3, and our variable here, x. Next example, 4xy divided by 2y. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. And then we have x over here. So x over 1 is just x. And here the y's cancel out. So we're left with 2x. So why do the y's cancel out? So we have y over y. And this is the same as y times y to the power of minus 1. And remember, when we're multiplying two variables together, of this, and they're the same variables, we add the powers. So this is the same as y to the power of 1, sorry, y to the power of 1, plus negative 1, which equals y to the power of 0, which equals 1, because anything to the power of 0 equals 1. That's why the y's here cancel out, and we're left with 2x. Okay, let's look at 7x divided by 8, times 2x. So here we need to apply bed mass. So we do the division first. However, whenever I see this division sign, I like to rewrite it in fraction form. Because when it's in fraction form, it's easy to cancel out your variables if required. 
So this can be rewritten as 7x divided by 8 multiplied by 2x. Now let's work for it. So 7x times 2x equals 14x squared over 8. Now if you simplify 14 over 8, you get 7 over 4x squared. Next example. 4y all in brackets squared divided by 4y. So again, let's write this in fraction form. 4y and all in brackets squared divided by 4y. And remember, because it's squared, it's multiplying by itself. So we get 4y times 4y divided by 4y. And since I have a 4y here and a 4y here, these can cancel out. And my answer is 4y. Next example, 60xz squared divided by 5x squared y. Okay, let's go 60 divided by 5 is 12. And now I have an x here and an x squared here. So one of the x's can cancel out. So I can cancel this x and remove the squared here and leave with x at the bottom. Then I've got a z squared here and a y at the bottom. So my answer is 12z squared xy. Last example. Again, I'm going to write this in fraction form. So I have minus 6xy divided by 4x. And this is the same as minus 6xy divided by 4x. Here, I have an x here and an x here. So these can cancel out. So I'm left with minus 3 over 2y. And there we have it. So, thanks for watching guys. I hope you learned how to multiply and divide algebraic expressions.